Hey guys, welcome back to Rooted in Jesus. Today's video is going to be a little bit of a Bible stack update. Chatting about what's worked, what's not, what I've been doing, what Bibles I've been using the most, and all of that. So, I guess without further ado, let's get started. My Bible stack for this year has been my Candace Cameron Bure One Step Closer Bible. Been that. She Reads Truth Bible that I painted. My little prayer Bible. It's gotten a makeover, I think, since you guys have seen it. But this is my little prayer Bible. My last Bible on my Bible stack that's been in my rotation has been this Bible. This Bible, this is the My Promise Bible. It's the King James Version, and it is a coloring Bible. So you can color pictures in it and do notes and stuff. So my plan for this year, what I felt was laid on my heart was to read the book of Acts. So I've been reading the book of Acts since the beginning of this year. And I've been reading some Psalms and Proverbs and things here and there. So as you see, what I've been doing in this Bible is it has like the intro to Acts. I've been reading the intro in this one in the She Reads Truth Bible. And I've been highlighting through the book of Acts verses that stick out to me. I've been doing some coloring in the book of Acts. Um, there's, see, I got to chapter 3 and then I haven't colored because I haven't had a lot of time to color. But I've been highlighting all the way through the book of Acts and... It's pretty highlighted. And then I have like things underlined in certain spots. I don't know if you can see that. But highlighting, underlining, stuff like that. So that's where I'm stopped. I'm in Acts 19. Yes, it's crazy. It's been a whole six months, almost like seven months in the year. And I'm just on Acts 19, it's crazy. Life has been just crazy, busy, busy, busy. So, I've been doing that, journaling through that. And ever so often in this Bible, there is devotionals. I will read the devotional that goes with that chapter of Acts. I don't have another one until chapter 21, I think. Acts 21 is the next one that I have a little devotional. But, I've been reading the devotionals from the She Reads Truth Bible that go along with that Acts chapter. And there's not a devotional for every chapter, just certain ones. But, I've been liking that. Other than that, I really haven't been in this Bible other than using it for the intro and the little devotions. That's how I've been using these two Bibles. This has been my main reader Bible. And I take this Bible to church too. So I've been highlighting and underlining and circling verses in this Bible at church. This is my main Bible pretty much. And my main Bible for at home study. I've been doing a Bible study. If you guys watched this channel before, you may have seen my video about going to Sister Cindy's Bible studies. And we've been studying the fear of the Lord and anxiety and things like that. So, we're in the book of Galatians now. You can kind of see I've been highlighting in pink in here. Um, I've been reading a little bit through the book of Acts. And I take this Bible to the camper with me because it's smaller. So, this was Galatians Bible study. We started in Galatians. I missed the first one. So, I'm, I'm going to have to go back and read chapter 1 of Galatians and put some notes if I feel led to put anything. But, I like to put down, like, Sister Sandy, her notes, like, from the topic and things that she said that stick out to me. I like to write down. So, um, this week I wrote down... We have been entrusted with the gospel to share the good news with others. And that's what I put there. And then on the next page, I put, We are called to live to God. 
we have to die to ourselves in our old ways and we are new in Christ. And that was about Galatians 2 verse 20 about dying to ourselves. So I like to do little things like that in this Bible. I did Bible journaling in this Bible. This Bible was my Bible that I got for Christmas. So it's really new. But I've done like things like this this year. Like some artsy things. But then I've decided to just put some notes and not really care what it looks like. I have did highlighting in here this year. I like to use the back sometimes for topical studies. Because there's a little guide in the back. A help finder about certain words and things. So I like to use that. This one also has intros about different books of the Bible. So here's some stuff that I've done in Proverbs. Now I do the little art here. But little things like that I've been doing in here. And sometimes I'll just read wherever I feel God leading me to maybe a random chapter or something. But mostly I use this Bible for Bible study when um, I'm at Sister Cindy's Bible study. I will use this Bible and highlight in whatever chapters we're in and write down on the sides just little things that she says relating to the scriptures. So that's what I've been doing. This one's just a free Bible where I don't have to worry about perfectly writing pretty handwriting. It's just been a Bible that I've just been writing notes that are helpful to me in here. I really love this Bible. This Bible's an NLT. The other one's a King James. And the other one's a CSB. So this one I will take to the lake. And I'll read Acts or wherever I'm reading. Or if I feel led to go to a chapter. I'll read that chapter in this Bible and that's been working and it's crazy I know it may sound crazy that I've only been reading pretty much in the book of Acts um, this year but this year's just been a crazy year and it's been really hard for me to study the Bible deeply and you know uh, what am I trying to say um it's just been a weird season in my life where I'm go, 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 go. And I've just been reading in the book of Acts or picking up a Bible and reading a psalm. And that's where this Bible comes in. This is one that Pastor Brett sent me. And it's a beautiful, real leather Bible. And sometimes I just open this Bible and... I see like if there's a highlighted passage in here and I will just read whatever passage is highlighted and just I'll just flip through and if I see just a verse or anything anything underlined I'll just read that as my chapter of the day so that's what I do when I'm not reading the book of Acts and I don't know where to read I will do this Bible just to read and get some word in for the day and did I finish I don't think I have finished talking about my prayer Bible so my prayer Bible I've been bringing this to the lake and if you guys don't know about prayer Bibles Jessica Jarris from the Sister Rita Club started doing this and tabbing Bibles in different colors related to different topics and this was just a little precious moments Bible that I got from a yard sale. It's a new King James version. And I went through and tabbed different places on different topics. So I like to bring this with me to sometimes when I go out, I like to bring it with me just to pray on the go. I like to bring this to the camper because sometimes I feel led to pray for certain things like family members, praise, peace, whatever I feel like I need that day or I feel like somebody else in my life needs and I like to just go pray over these things with verses. So that's a favorite way for me to use this Bible. I like to take it to the camper a lot 
and some days I just don't know where to read or know where to start and I'll just open this based on a topic and I will read and pray that scripture so I really love my little prayer Bible um, and I've been using it most at the camper the camper is just a beautiful peaceful nice place to just look at nature take in the lake and just pick one of these topics and pray over one two three or a lot it doesn't really matter you could pray as long as you want in these bibles the Lake Duo have been these two Bibles and they kind of match now since I redid the cover. But these are my Camper Duo. What's been working for me has been staying in the Book of Acts. By now I thought I'd have like a bigger update for you guys. Like I'm reading in this place but no. I'm still reading in the Book of Acts and just in Psalms and Proverbs and wherever I feel God leading me for a certain day. I have more Bibles and do I think I'm going to switch them? Probably not. I do like to take this one to church but it really is big so I may switch back to my little teeny tiny one that Pastor Brett gave me. It's a black one so I may start taking that one to church this month and give this one a break from going to church because it's, it's heavy. This one is really heavy and really big, but I do like taking this one to church with me. And this one, I love bringing to the camper. I don't think really anything much is going to change in my Bible stack. I'm probably going to stick with what's working. I have so many other Bibles too that are just like reading Bibles like this that don't have any space to write in them like this one which I really do love this one this one's so pretty and it has little cross references and things in the middle and I just like to read from this one and read in the Psalms Proverbs and just like I said anything that's highlighted when I feel led to pick this one up this one stays in the cubby behind my bed so a lot of times at night I will read this one my Bible study with Sister Sandy. I've been loving this. I've been loving being free and not worrying about having to write super pretty in here and just writing notes and being basic with this Bible. Another note that I wrote in this one is there is freedom in Christ and Christ has given salvation for all who believe. And that was something that Sister Sandy was touching on. Um, in this Bible study and we were reading in Acts and I highlighted some of those verses in here really have been loving studying in the book of Acts Acts is a great book to know about the church how it started and how the early church was um, the early church was so bold in their faith and that is something that I feel like God in this season is wanting to teach me to be bold and to share the gospel with those around me even if it's just through actions and not words only. So I'm trying to learn that through the season. God is showing up in like messages and things that I go to. If you guys saw the last video about uh, meeting Lex um, about her story a lot of the things that she was saying is we need to be the church outside of the four walls and not just in the four walls um, and I feel like through sister Cindy's study that was what we were kind of talking about last week being the church and sharing the good news with others and my pastor was even talking about that this past Sunday so it's just cool to see how God works everything together and he speaks to you what you need to hear in a certain season my battery is flashing and I don't know how because I just charged it but I just wanted to say I hope you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you liked it and don't compare your Bible reading time with anybody else's if it's taking you months and months to get through one book of the Bible, that is okay. I'm just enjoying this Bible stack that I have here. These Bibles I am loving right now. And I'm probably not going to be changing any of these Bibles. <laughs> 
so this is my current Bible stack and it's just a little update for you guys hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in another video Lord willing soon stay rooted in him bye bye guys